Hello, my name is Lizzie. It was the first day of IT trip. The first place we visited was the Mysore Palace. There, us would kept a guide for us. He told us about the history of the palace. The palace is illuminated with over 97,000 to 100,000 lights. The Mysore Palace is lit up a very nice era to celebrate the victory of good over evil and to mark the symbolic final battle between good and evil. The main attraction of Mysore Palace is the elephant procession or jungle survival. The place was the really very nice. I'm Karki Prasan Hogle. I'm here to share my experience of our trip to Vrindavan Garden. So, it was our second spot. As we entered, there were many exquisite flower beds and lawns which were quite admiring. Also, there were innumerable water fountains which were decorated with the colorful lightings. And another remarkable thing over there was that there was a big lake in the middle of the garden uh, where tourists could enjoy a boat ride too and in the evening we enjoyed a light show uh, which was the fascinating scene of the day after enjoying the light show we left the garden and we enjoyed a lot hello everyone my name is Shravani Kailas Bhuge. so on the second day we visited to the Chamundi Shwari temple the Chamundi Hills takes at least half an hour to reach there. Then we reached to the entrance gate of the temple. There we saw the beautiful huge statue of Mahishasura. Chamundi Hills is famous because according to a legend, the Mahishasura, king of the city that is currently known as Mysore, was killed by goddess Chamundishwari. I personally loved it because the temple was built in Dravidian style architecture. Hello, myself Sumit Prakash Kapandis. On the second day of the tour, we have visited the Sand Sculpture Museum. It was beautifully carved and it, and it has a touch of the Mysore and Hindu culture. Uh, it was very beautifully carved. It has uh, many sculptures like Disneyland, Ganesh Ji, cars and many more etc. There were shops where we have done the shopping. It was an amazing experience for us. Hello everyone, my name is Divya Amal Deshwande. The next place we visit was the St. Philomena's Church. The church was built as a gift to a large number of European population in Mysore in 19th century. It was one of the best historical places we visit. Although, it was a great experience for all of us in the church. Myself Hanshika Yato from 9G. I'm here to show my special experience about the fun place that where I get to admire the wildlife was the Mysore Zoo. Yes, the zoo which we saw was oldest in India and the most popular zoo in India too. It is home to wide range for over 168 species of animals and the zoo was enormous with its own loving atmosphere of wildlife living there. Each animal has its own huge uh, area in working with care and cleanliness. I really enjoy watching animals we usually don't get to see in normal zoo. We each had our in-charge teacher which helped us uh, around the little walk in the zoo. Hello, my name is Janavi Pradeep Sati. I am here to share you my experience about my home. It was the third day of our trip when we visited here. We enjoyed a lot of selling rides in the dry park like Recoil, Prantula, Hurricane. We also went to the wet park where we enjoyed doing disco, wake pool, recoils. The lifeguards were almost present there throughout our rides which made our rides safer. The day was full of fun and enjoyments. The enjoyments of Pandala will last with us forever in our heart. Hello everyone, my name is Sharvati Sharadandani. At fourth day in morning, we visited a chair museum that is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It was so knowledgeable museum that the photos from the first Asian handmade aircraft till the dates with information was given. Along with the models of aircrafts were practically made there. And the surprising thing was at that Asian and without any equipments or technology, they did such a great job. 
So the lesson we could learn is that without anything, anyone, literally anyone can achieve higher heights. Also, I have bought one ja Jaguar aircraft from there, which was uh, from that historical shop. And it showcases its power and the work it had done for me. My name is Avanti Vinod Patti. I am from Tansan. I am very grateful that we have got the chance to visit Isro and share my experience about it. At the fourth day of our educational trip, we visited Isro and it was the most memorable day for us. We have learned about number of satellites. We learned about the testing, modeling, present, uh, launching of different types of satellites. This was the most educating and remarkable day for us. We enjoyed it a lot. Hello everyone, my name is Swaraj Baraswankar and I am from class 10. We really enjoyed visiting ISRO and learned a lot. We now have in-depth knowledge about different kinds of satellite, reusable launch vehicles, assembly of satellites, Chandrayaan 3 and a lot more. It was really a mesmerizing experience for all of us. Overall, we enjoyed our visit to ISRO a lot. Hello, my name is Anush Gajanan Baraswankar. And at the fourth day and last day of our trip, in the evening we visited Vishweshwaraya Museum. Every student has a wish to experience the theories, principles and uh, concepts which he had learned in science practically. And I am sure it is the best place to do this. It has different floors for different fields like engineering, biology, uh, artificial intelligence, etc. etc. I am sure it is the best museum I have visited ever in my life. So let's have a look at it. I would like to thank all the teachers for the bottom of my heart. They all created safe and supporting environment around us. They all listened patiently all our requirements and followed up well. They all arranged everything for us. Uh, the enthusiasm in the trip was contagious. It made us explore new things. Uh, this trip was by far the most memorable and wonderful trip ever. We will cherish these memories forever in our hearts. Thank you everyone for this beautiful journey.